Just your average, normal, everyday day on a snowboard. Wait, ski pools? One ski? No, it's a mono ski. Now you might be asking, why do you have a mono ski? Well, it's a long story, and it begins with a trip that never happened at Crested Butte, Colorado. So my friends and I were supposed to head up to Crested Butte for a spring break trip. However, this did not happen, as right before we were supposed to go, it closed because of COVID-19. And Colorado went into full lockdown. And because of this, the money that was supposed to go to the Crested Butte trip, I used to buy a monoski instead. So that's how I came into the possession of a monoski. Fast forward to about eight months later, and the ski resorts are opening again for the 2020-2021 ski season. And this time, with new COVID protocols. However, this resort is a basin. And because I'm a season pass holder at a basin, I didn't have to get a reservation. And because it's opening day, they only have the one run white ribbon of death open. So I decided, hey, why not try out the mono ski? Loading the lift with the mono ski was actually fairly easy, as it was basically the same as loading the lift with regular skis, except there was only one ski instead of two. After I got off the lift, a ski patroller came by to admire the mono ski and said he was actually really jealous that I got one. I was curious, so yeah, I got one. Yeah, so far. <laughs> After this, I decided to get going and start heading down the mountain. However, this was easier said than done, as you can tell by this awesome 360 I just did. Totally on purpose, by the way. As I soon found out, turning would be a little bit of a challenge. Due to my inexperience, what happened next was inevitable. I fell. However, this was just a minor inconvenience as I got myself back up after dusting myself off and got right back on the monoski. However, little did I know, this would not be my first fall of the day as you will soon find out. Eventually I got fed up with this and decided to pick up the monoski, go to the side of the run, and hike down at least a little bit of the mountain. Eventually, after hiking down a little bit of the mountain, I decided it's time to try this again, and decided to put the mono back on my feet. That's it. That's As you can see, after a little bit of finagling, I managed to get somewhat of a good grasp on how to control the mono. At the very least, I could make some sliding turns. Ooh! Ooh, nice! The question is, can I make that turn? No, no I could not. So I took the mono ski off again and decided 
to put it back on my feet and try this one last time. And with that last fall, it was time to call it a day. At least on the mono ski. I managed to get one more run on regular skis, but I must say, for the first time I ever used the mono ski, I don't think I did to have bad. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.